Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Um, so I just recently went through and organized all of my scrap fabric, or the vast majority of it, and I figured I would just show you what I did. Um, so if we turn around here, I have it all kind of stored in a closet here, and ignore my bruise, I had my wellness checkup at work and they had to take blood. Um, so I have them stored in these little, like shoebox Tupperware containers. Um, I got them at, they're the Sterilite brand. I just got them at the dollar store. I think they were a dollar a piece. So it was the cheapest option for storage. Um, so that is what I use. And then I decided to organize my pieces. Um, there's a lot of different ways that you can organize your scrap fabrics, um, depending on, you know, if you have all of the same type of fabric. I have a lot of different types. I have canvas and batting scraps and interfacing scraps and quilt cotton and flannel. So, um, you know, I wanted to keep those types of things separated from each other. Um, so I have one bin. I, the most that I have is quilt cotton. Uh, that is the most of my scraps. So <clears throat> that is the majority of these bins. Um, I have one bin for batting. You can't really see. Let me just. Okay. So I just have them stored on like a little shoe rack thing, but I have one for batting scraps, one for interfacing scraps, canvas scraps, waterproof canvas scraps, flannel, and then the rest of these are all quilt cotton. So again, there's a lot of different ways that you can organize them. So I kind of did by size and by color. So this one here, so this container here, I actually went ahead and cut all of my smaller pieces into two and a half inch strips. So all of these are varying lengths. I didn't focus on length or anything like that, but these are all cut into two and a half inch strips. And I figure I can use these to make, you know, sew them together to make a little zipper pouch or a bag or something, or I could do a quilt or mug rug or something like that. Uh, two and a half inch strips, I feel like there's a lot of versatility with them. And I had smaller pieces that you know, there wasn't a whole lot of waste trimming them down to this size. So I figured this was a good option. So that is what I decided to go with, with my smaller pieces. All right. And then I have a couple different totes here. I think it's this one and this one. It's not really organized very well. Okay, let's do that. So these two here are my smaller pieces. So these are anything... Um, you know, maybe like a 10 inch square or smaller than a fat quarter, you know, something like that. Um, so they're just my tiny little pieces, you know, something like that. And I have them color coordinated. Um, I, I kind of just tried to divvy them up so that it was an even amount in each. So this one has whites, tans, yellows, and then black and whites. And then this one has my uh, blues, purples, pinks, reds, that kind of stuff. So I actually do have quite a bit more in this one. And then these two here are for my larger scraps. So something that is not quite fat quarter size, but still a good size piece of fabric. So like this container here, um, I have like pinks and blues and greens. Um, so this is an example of one of the pieces that I have in here. So it is the width of the fabric, but only like maybe six or seven inches wide. Um, so it is a good size, but, um, you know, not quite a uh, fat quarter size. So I have another place that I actually store my actual fat quarters or something close to that. Um, so that is what I have stored in these ones. So then my fat quarters or thereabouts, I keep in these little containers. I think I got these at Target, um, but they fit on my bookshelf pretty nicely and they also fit very nicely the fat quarters as they come folded up from the store. Um, so I have these kind of color coordinated. I have a couple of bins of these ones that I need to work on using. Um, but that is how I store fat quarters. And you know, some of these, they're not quite, like this one isn't exactly a fat quarter. This was just another scrap that I had um, and I'm running out of space. So I just have it tossed on top, but you know, thereabouts that size is what I keep in these. 
All right, but that is my scrap fabric storage. Um, so I hope you found this helpful. Um, if you like this video, if you found any of uh, what I do helpful, let me know in the comments down below and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to stay tuned for more videos. I'll see you next time. Bye.